Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here at today in Clash Royale. Quick shout out guys on my Twitter, at CWA on Twitter. If you follow me, I have a giveaway for a sealed pack of Clash Royale trading cards circa 2018. Giving those away in the next day or two. I also have a box of a ton of Clash Royale merch. So go ahead and give me a follow and get your hands potentially on that stuff if you are a lucky winner. Today, as soon as the game loads here in a moment, we have EGW, aka Egg, here on the channel. This dude is a phenom when it comes to playing with Mega Knight Hog Rider Mini Pekka. Also has Freeze in this deck. Certainly a very enticing deck that I think that a lot of you guys uh, will be able to gleam awesome tips from this pro here on the channel today. How are you guys doing? You guys hanging in there? Hopefully. Hopefully. If not, if you need some love, send any positive vibes your way. I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm not sure if I mentioned this on this YouTube channel or another YouTube channel, but I'll mention it again. But I started a, uh, a YouTube channel with me and my son. And, dude, we is, he's loving it. He's loving it. He's not actually, I don't have his, like, face on there. But it's just cars. He plays with cars and we put, like, silly music in the background. And I don't know. He loves it. And it's uh, it's been my, my like, I guess... I don't want to say hobby, but my project, I guess, that I've been working on. So really, really cool there. Hopefully you guys are doing well also. Uh, so here we go against a surprise, surprise, Skeleton King graveyard deck. Surprise! Still around inside the meta. Uh, one thing, I asked EGW for a bunch of advice regarding a deck like this. What are the common mistakes that players are making out there when playing it? And his feedback was the number one mistake is he very, very rarely... There's a couple exceptions, we'll talk about those as the video goes on, but he very very rarely is placing a Mega Knight ever in the back, especially with a deck like this. He's not trying to build pushes behind the Mega Knight in back unless they have maybe an Inferno Tower and we have to kind of dual lane push and build up a really, really big push. Other than that though, we are playing our Mega Knight to take advantage of this Enter the Arena ability with this deck. He says even pro players uh, often make that mistake is what he says and he sees when playing a deck like this. So let's pay attention to how he uses the Mega Knight amongst his other cards in this matchup. So here we go, going taking care of the Skeleton King with the Inferno. Inferno D, Inferno D, Mini Pekka, Bomber. I love all of these cards, guys. Z uh, Bats as well. Uh, interesting that this deck uses Zap also. Uh, here we go. It's going to be Bats and a Mini Pekka in the left-hand lane. And we did... It's always the way. Is it always the way? We did exactly what he said not to do. And we dropped a Mega Knight in the back here. It is going to work out great for us, though. The Mega Knight's going to squash that Ice Wizard. And we have another Inferno Dragon Mega Knight push in the left-hand lane. And causing the opponent to defend so that they can't build up a bigger offensive push in the right-hand lane behind that Skeleton King. So the opponent uses their Tornado, so we go right in there with a Hog Rider. Mini Pekka with barely no life is actually going to get to the tower. Freeze comes down, and that's all it takes. I mean, we didn't even need the Freeze there, but that's all it takes with Freeze. I've been saying it here for years, but Freeze is the most dynamic card in the game, right? You can just win any match, even if the, the opponent... Especially if you whip it out as a first-time surprise like that, even if the opponent has the perfect counters in hand. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, EGW's uh, profile. Of course he's got the Mega Knight. Of course he's got the Mega Knight on there. Uh, and this is the deck. Yeah, what what a beast. What a beast. Look at those high trophies. 84, uh, 94, unbelievable. All right, guys, I'll come back at you when he's inside the next match. Be right back. All right, guys, here we go inside the next one. Let's do this. We got Ko versus EGW. He's playing the Dark Goblin on the banner. Playing? He's featuring, highlighting the Dark Goblin on the banner. It's a bait player. Surprise, surprise. Log and Princess come down. We go right in with the Hog Rider in another, uh, or a, excuse me, Inferno Tower matchup. The last matchup was not an Inferno Tower. It was Splash Yard with Skeleton King, Ash. Uh, but we talked about the Inferno Tower, so I'm sure we might be seeing the Mega Knight use in the back, and that's exactly what happens the very next play here. Knew it. So here comes the Mega Knight. The opponent goes in with the Goblin Barrel. We decide to let that all go. Don't have a great response in hand. We do have Zap in hand. No Inferno Tower for the opponent. Let's see how we play this one. We go in with the Mini Pekka and the Bats. Big, big push here, guys. Big push. I like what he did there. We go Bomber, too, to help out against those guards. Figuring even if he didn't have guards, he was going to have something. Something squishy down there. Log comes down by the opponent. Mini Pekka, get to the tower, man. Get to the tower. He does it. 
And now no elixir in the opponent's hand left to deal with the hog rider. They have to go with a very awkward defensive goblin barrel. We zap it. That was a beautiful, beautiful sequence there uh, by EGW. You can tell he's been playing this deck a lot, knows when to go full throttle, put the pedal to the proverbial metal, and when to kind of ease up. So it's a nice push with a Mega Knight in single elixir there. And again, our last card. Oh, 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 I see you, Ko. I see you, Ko. Gonna be featured on CWA, man. <laughs> All right. Love the Inferno Tower emote, man. If you ever see, if you ever play against somebody in my clan, Throw the Inferno Tower emote, man. Throw it. Just give us some love. Give us some love. All right, so here we go. It's going to be a mini packet coming down the left-hand lane. We get a princess approaching the bridge. Not quite there, thankfully for us. Inferno Dragon is going to lock onto that tower for, uh, you know, about 10 damage. <laughs> Not much. So we go Hog Rider in the back. Rocket Man comes down. Goblin Barrel comes down as well. We decide not to zap there. Nicely done. We go Mega Knight instead. So let's see what we do here. We go Bats to clean up those guards. Right hand lane. He's back to the Inferno Tower. Back to Hog Rider again. Cycling that Hog Rider in the back. Not something you see very often. But again, it allows us to... Uh, to outcycle the Inferno Tower, or at least deal with that in some way. Nice job there on the freeze. First time that we use the freeze, we take the tower down. Well played, man. Here comes the opponent. We were Johnny on the spot with both the Bats and the Inferno D. Very nicely done there. And with 12, 11, 10 seconds remaining on the clock, guys. Things are looking pretty dang good. Rocket number one. Goblin Barrel is going to come down, but we don't really, uh, you know, we have no worries there. Co. Much love, my man. Much love. Let's give him one last boom. One last Inferno Tower emote. All right, guys. Let's go into the next match. Be right back. All right, guys. Here we are inside the next one. Let's do this against Darko. Against Darko. All right. Darko starts out with a heal spirit. Could be Royal Hogs. Could be Elixir Golem. Could be a Electro Giant deck because Electro Giant runs anything nowadays, right? So here it comes. It's going to be the Golden Knight. The Ice Golem. Golden Knight can be a pain. We do have Mega Knight in hand. I'm sure we'll probably use him right here at the bridge. And we do. Mega Knight can be super effective, man. In situations like that. Now we have a, mas uh, a monster, excuse me. A monster counter push. So the opponent has to keep this Mega Knight off of his ladies. Oh! What a freeze there. We were hoping to get some AoE damage, and we don't. Well, we do, and the Zap helps out as well. Dude! And the Inferno Dragon's gonna take the tower down! Oh my god. How amazing and awesome and well played and also kind of cheesy, I'm sure even Egg would agree, a move like that can be. And again, we just mentioned this, right? This is exactly why Freeze is just... It's, an, it's a messed up card, man. It's a messed up card, right? Please don't ask me. I like, I mean, I don't, I'm not throwing shade at Freeze users, but it's just, you can have the perfect counters in hand, you can do everything right, and you lose your tower, right? That's why you have to delay uh, if you know they have Freeze, but when you see Mega Knight, you see Hog Rider, you're probably used to the version of this deck that doesn't have Freeze in it, right? So you're not really expecting that necessarily to be coming. So here we go. It's going to be a Mega Knight in the pocket, keeping the pressure up here. Royal Ghost comes down for the opponent. Mini Pack is going to easily take care of that Royal Ghost. Elite Barbarians come down from the opponent. We have the Bomber and the Mega Knight to take care of those. Very, very nicely done. Really mitigating the uh, the extra advantage, elixir advantage of the pump that the opponent is going to have in a moment here. Here we go. Hog Rider, another Hog Rider attack. They go with a Golden Knight. And again, those bats parlayed with the Hog Rider push. Going to make sure that at least we do a little bit of damage, albeit the Heal Spirit able to heal him back up. We go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. It's a little bit of kind of ancillary damage onto the tower, but not the end of the world. We are uh, saving that Mega Knight right now in our hand for either the Three Musketeers or the Elite Barbarians. Just cycling in back. We cycle another Hog Rider in the back as well. Might as well. They go in with the three muskies. 22 seconds left on the clock. We go with the mini P.E.K.K.A. in the left-hand lane. Trying to protect that lane. Meanwhile, nice job there on the Inferno Dragon. We go in with the Mega Knight in the, the uh, right-hand lane. Bam, 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 bam. All 
All right, so here we go. Defense is on. We get two elite barbarians running towards our tower with five seconds remaining. Free's going to come in clutch there. Bats come down as well, and that's going to be a good game. That's three matches. That's three victories as well by my math. Let's go ahead and go into the next one here, man. You can see why I invited this guy on the channel. He's really got the deck down to a science. Let's check to see where he is right now. 79, 46 trophies. I will be right back inside the next live match. All right, guys, here we go inside the next one. We have Martin Snow, Martin Snow, Zappies, Mega Minions. Speaking of snow, any of you guys watching the uh, the new Game of Thrones when it comes out? When does that come out again? I think I'm going to check it out. I'm going to get into it. I actually was a, a big fan of Game of Thrones. I was a big fan. It was uh, really, really... I got, I got into it like late, right? I was probably like five. I didn't watch it while it was on. I was probably like five, six years late. Uh, so I guess I started watching it while it was kind of ending, the, the, uh, the series. And I really loved it. I really loved it. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to the prequel, I believe it is. Anyway, here we go. Getting some early damage there. Zappy's giant bowler snowball definitely looks like a graveyard deck here that we're facing. We'll see the rest of the three remaining cards of the opponent. Of course, we know that our cards are Zap and Freeze, our two spells. We go in with the Inferno Dragon there against the Zappies, recognizing he didn't have Zappies in hand to counter the Inferno Dragon anymore on the defensive end. Barbarians come down by the opponent. Uh, we know this deck. We shared this deck here on the channel. Barbarians are actually making a pretty nice comeback inside the game right now uh, with that most recent buff. So let's see what we have here. Do we have Mini P.E.K.K.A. back in hand yet? I kind of lost count. Yes, we do. So Mini Peck is going to do a pretty good job there. We go Bats as well. Ooh, very, very well done by the opponent, man. Very well done. He's going to take that tower down. The good games get exchanged here. However, it's not over yet. We have Hog Freeze. So here comes the Hog Rider. They just go with a Mega Minion. Are we going to freeze here and be bold? Yes, we are. So the Freeze at the very last second. I love that play. Nicely done. We're really right back in this. That's all it takes. One freeze play. There's only 47, 46 seconds remaining. We're going to have a giant in the pocket here. Graveyard is down. We go in with the Mega Knight. We go Bats. Mini Peck is going to be down as well, but Snowball doing a really, really nice job by the opponent. We do have Zap in hand as well. We need to make sure we take that right tower, which we do. Unfortunately, he's going to take our left tower at the same time. So basically just tower trading here. Going to have to really pull out a miracle to win this one, the fourth match of the video. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's not looking so good. We're gonna go all in here for the three crown. I love the Inferno Dragon push. Now, it's not gonna work out for us there, right? Because they have barbarians to distract, but it was a nice idea. And it's a good kind of Hail Mary idea if you guys give this deck a try, right? Go ahead and drop the, uh, the Inferno Dragon Hot Rider and you can get a sneaky freeze, and that tower is down if the elect the uh, the Inferno Dragon, excuse me, locks onto the King Tower, right? All right, guys, let me see if he'll do one more match. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Final match of the video. Let's make it a good one here. Egg going against another Aftershock comrade. Here we go. You guys want to check out the company, what I do with the majority of my time? Uh, we started at three, a little over three years ago now. We represent around... Uh, hundred or so talent uh, in the mobile gaming and kind of Minecraft lifestyle space as well. You can see our talent list. We want to work with a bunch of uh, Clash Royale content creators as well. Uh, Shane, Cashman, Muhammad Light, Ian, uh, quite a few others as well. Night Owl, who else? KFC. I can go on and on here, but really, really good team that we have here. And uh, just, uh, it's been an amazing road. So amg.gg is the website if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. I don't talk about it too often here because I don't try to mix business and pleasure on the channel. But uh, really, absolutely, just couldn't be more uh, fortunate and just going to show all the gratitude in the world to work with the amazing individuals that I work with, both content creators and uh, staff members. So here it goes, guys. The freeze comes down. Awkward fireball in response by the opponent. We were about, what, one, maybe two seconds away from bleeding that tower all the way down. Ooh, that was that was close. I love the sneaky potential of the Inferno Dragon Freeze. We talked about it at the end of the last match as well. So here comes the opponent attacking with a Minor. Minor Mortar Queen Valkyrie deck by the opponent. A couple cycle cards and a Fireball thrown in. We go with the Ignore. Similar to what we did, in, I believe, in the first match with the Goblin Barrel. We ignore the Minor. We go instead in the opposite lane with a Mega Knight. Archer Queen comes down by the opponent. We have Hog Rider in hand. We have, we're going to go with Mini P.E.K.K.A. 
So hoping to take down, we zap. Took us a little while to get that zap off, but Mini Pekka hopefully is gonna take care of, with the help of the bomber, gonna take care of that queen. So we get the job done, we do maintain the damage advantage, we attack immediately here, forcing the opponent to continue to kind of focus on defense rather than be super aggressive with this fast cycle deck. Mortar Miner Cycle, the opponent is playing with a queen. Three card cycle, kind of a difficult matchup uh, for any deck, at least in, in my mind. <laughs> so here we go, it's gonna be a Mega Knight again in the back, left hand lane, we can equalize damage and take a couple Valkyrie hits or one on the, the uh, right side tower. Fire Spirit is gonna connect to the Mega Knight and the tower we go with the Mini Pekka in the opposite lane as well. Defense and Mortar set up by the opponent, Arch Queen also coming down. We go in with the Hog Rider. Valkyrie comes down to help out. Little Bomber there to help out as well. Let's see if we can get this Mini P.E.K.K.A. to the tower. We get the Hog Rider to the tower. Another Mini P.E.K.K.A. reloaded at the bridge. They have skeleton, or uh, yeah, they have skeletons in hand, I believe, as well. We do get to that left hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. I barely, I only saw at the very end all the damage. I was too busy focusing on the, on the right hand lane. We take the left tower down. That was a good match. We said, let's make it a good one. And then we freeze, zap, throw it on the uh, arena and uh, and sip our cup of tea. That is gonna be the video, guys. Good luck with the deck. This deck is really nasty, really strong. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it as well. Check out Egg's player stats profile. Thanks to Satchreal.com. Go ahead and check out his Twitch channel, his social media, his Twitter. Support my guests here. It helps support me as well. Helps bring these amazing players, continue to bring these amazing players here on the channel. Big shout out to Glitch Energy, 25% off your order when you co use code CWA. And of course, a massive shout out to Statue Rail and to Bren Chom, my YouTube partner. Check out their information as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.